painstaking for song. But today, the ending journey of the best 2021 college students marches to victory. Welcome to the meeting virtual graduation ceremony of the Long State University of Long Campus with the theme Pursuing Excellence in the New Normal. I am Ms. Regina Rizal Eminora. I am Lorna Ignacio Robbies, your moderators for today. Romblon State University Romblon Campus Director, Dr. Ruel Verhil M. Madriguez. Bachelor of Elementary Education Faculty, Dr. Jonathan P. Wong. Dr. Amaranth M. Wong. Ms. Christine T. Murgado. Ms. Lizette I. Villarata Ms. Marcenia M. Sim Ms. Julimar Atanok Ms. Joyce M. Manipol Ms. Lita M. Merano Ms. Anna Rose M. Gadia Ms. Florabel M. Muros Ms. Lorena V. Moreno Bachelor of Secondary Education Faculty Ms. My Lady Love Ferrer Mindoro Mr. Orlando L. Mindoro Ms. Mylene M. Merabide Ms. Hazel F. Morente Ms. Julina Rizal M. Mindoro Ms. Irish M. Villanueva Ms. Evelyn M. Maligang Ms. Argeri Marino Ms. Heidi G. Gonzalez Mr. Jonito Adinig Mr. Warren M. Malate Mr. James Russell M. Esquera Mr. Nelson M. Mabasa Jr. Mr. Wilson M. Mendez Bachelor of Science and Business Administration Faculty Ms. Monica M. Mortel Mr. Gerson M. Mores Mr. Erpre Christ C. Montojo Mr. John Paul A. Merzonia Ms. Kimberly M. Montojo Mr. E.J. C. Montojo Ms. Joan F. Merano Mr. Juan M. Molo Mr. Bernie F. Fidakan Bachelor of Science in Information Technology Faculty Ms. Liney M. Marino Ms. Joy Maris Mindoro Mizana Mr. James Patrick M. Mesana Mr. Noah M. Mangari Mr. Norland I. Robis RSU Rumlan Campus Admin Staff Rex M. Merida Christian M. Maaba Joseph M. Maaba Crisalis M. Oliveros 
Jessica M. Salingay Joanna M. Mahalisa Paulo C. Marquez Juno M. Mesana Benny M. Rabino Johanna Galindez Silver M. Montojo Jenny R. Marcelo Josephine M. Montojo Jose P. Salingay The University Registrar Miss Annabel F. Ida The Vice President for Academic Affairs Dr. Emmeline R. Villanueva The Vice President for Administration and Finance Dr. Tomas T. Faminyal The Vice President for Research, Extension, Development, and Innovation, Dr. Bilshen F. Cervanius. Our Chief Administrative Officer, Attorney Glenn Nino M. Sartilio, the bearer of the University Maze, our University and Board Secretary. Mr. John F. Rufon And of course, ladies and gentlemen our University President, Dr. Marianne P. Katahaymani. Heavenly Father God, we are humbly asking for your providence, your unwavering guidance and blessing as we undertake and celebrate this meaningful occasion the graduation day of batch 2021 of Ramblon State University, Ramblon Campus. May you proffer us with your profound love and immeasurable kindness for this grand part of their lives. We thank you, Father God, for the parents and teachers who have absolutely given their boundless support, dedication, and commitment in all the things which are deemed significant in achieving every graduate's success. Thank you for always being there and for ultimately raising us up from life's struggles and perplexities. We are deeply challenged by this pandemic, yet your be assuring heart always yields us protection, resilience, and hope. We pray that you shall equip them with great strength and optimism as they go through their future endeavor. Shower and bless them, Father God, with a healthy mind and body as they are about to carry their dreams and goals out. May you grant them inner peace and compassion which will direct them into the alley of success. All these we pray in the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging ay mas nagsinahanan Alam ng puso sa hindi mo'y buhay Upang hinihang tuyang ka ng magiging Sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil Sa nagatang tutok sa simoy at sa langit mong pangraw Ay hinagang tulad awin sa pagkayang minamahal Warmest greetings to Chair Jose Prospero Popoy E. Devere III, 
Chairman of the Commission on Higher Education, to the members of the Board of Regents of Ramblan State University, chaired by Honorable Dr. Lillian A. de las Liagas, Commissioner, Commission on Higher Education, Senator Joel J. Villanueva, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education, Honorable Congressman Mark O. Go, Chairman of the House Committee on Higher and Technical Education, the Regional Directors from Mimaropa, Honorable Dr. Maria Josefina P. Abilay of DOST, Honorable Antonio J. Herondo of the Department of Agriculture, and Honorable Agustin C. Mendoza, Regional Director of NEDA, Mimaropa, Honorable Jimmy Oitan and Honorable Nicasio F. Piedakan Jr., the Private Sector Representatives, Honorable Romeo F. Paildan, the President of the Federated Alumni Association, Honorable Bernie G. Mantes, the President of the Federated Faculty Association, and Honorable Brescio M. Gamo Jr., the President of the Federated Supreme Student Council. My salutation also goes to Honorable Eliandro Jesus F. Madrona, Congressman, Lone District of Romblon, and Honorable Governor Jose Otec R. Riano, Governor of Romblon. Parents, graduating students, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day. Graduating in the time of pandemics is undoubtedly grueling. But here you are, you made it through the arduous shift to the new normal. It must be a very proud moment for you. All the hard work, passion, dedication, and resilience you have put in has at least now paid off. So let me be the first to say congratulations. As much as I want to leave it at that, we can just have one brief class before you go. One last chance to remind you that your reward lies ahead and that you must pursue it. Yes, school may be over, but life's lessons are yet to be learned. It might feel like you have reached your destination, but mind you, this is just the beginning. Dear graduates, you are a star in the making. So, do what stars do. Shine like stars do. From the vast life experiences I've got, allow me to share seven tips on how to shine on like stars. Number one, safety first. Safeguarding your health should be your number one priority. Honor your body as well as your need for psychological safety. You only have one life to live. Keep your sanity safe and shield your spirit from mishap. Let your moral compass keep you safe. Second, hope. It matters before and during pandemic, and it will matter again post-pandemic. Hope is another form of courage. Even amid doubt, fear, despair, hold on to hope. It is hope that distinguishes humanity. It will propel you forward and let hope be your North Star. Third, illuminate. As you shine brightly, be the light for others as well. Held the torch high in your community and lift your neighbors up from darkness. Illuminate the path to freedom by sparkling conversations that disrupt stereotypes in status quo. Let creativity and curiosity flicker. Sustain this light that you have started until it is so bright that the whole country 
will glisten. Let's move on to the fourth one. Nurture. Nurture systems thinking and systemic evaluation. As big as disasters and pandemics or as small as wrong answers in the examination, anything that happens can be our greatest breakthrough if only we are able to look closely and systematically. Friends, you did not earn a degree just to gather the dots. You must connect them. Make sense of them so you can make sense of your life. Generate insights, look for patterns, evaluate the data at hand, and innovate solutions. There's no better way to do this than to do it together. Dear graduates, you can morph constellations. Fifth, essential. Be essential that you cannot be replaced. Don't just aim for success. Target significance. You cannot be essential by dimming others' light. Instead, glow amongst others. Contribute your unique talents and skills for a greater purpose. Like the stars, shine even after death. Six, ownership. Own your failures so you can own your successes. Own your journey. Own your life. This means you must develop your personal learning journey and manage your time to give yourself space to learn even while working. Shine at your own pace, but never dull your sparkle. Moving on to the last, never stop learning. This means you must reskill and upskill. Start making micro changes to replace old skills with new ones. Be willing to go through changes. Be willing to fail in pursuit of discovering what works and what doesn't. Never cease trying because if you stop and do nothing, it might feel safe, but everything about your life stays the same. As the author Kobe Yamada puts it, if you do nothing, there is less to experience, less to love, and less to learn. So take every face as your shining moment, just as the stars change color as it age. Dear graduates, shine on wherever you may be. Make a difference and be significant. Always bear in your mind and nurture in your heart the RSU mantra, serving with honor and excellence. That was an uplifting speech, Dr. Manny. Following to this, let us have our campus director as he acknowledges the graduates. Madam President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation this academic year 2020-2021 of Romblon State University, Romblon Campus of which are 193 from undergraduate programs and 13 from the Graduate Education and Professional Studies program with a total of 206 graduating students. I hereby certify that these candidates have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for graduation on the programs they are enrolled as recommended by the University's Academic Council. May I therefore request you to confirm their graduation. Having been presented by the University Registrar and duly certified by the University Academic Council that you have completed the basic requirements prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education and by the authority vested in me 
by the Romblon State University Board of Regents, I now confirm you graduates for academic year 2020-2021. Congratulations! To present the candidates for graduation, let us have Ms. Christine T. Morgado, BEA Department Chairperson. It is an honor to present to you the graduates from Bachelor of Elementary Education for the academic year 2020-2021. Firan Mark Lawrence R. Maja Edward C. Malien Nicole M. Mangaring Reggie M. Marin Carlo R. Molina Elgen J. Molieda Angelo P. Ortega Alden J. R. Tumakbas Novel M. Arroyo Bilen P. Kalansanan Diuliwa C. Cipriano Hazel A. Firan Kimberly R. Mabunga Abigail B. Magalion Joan Francis F. Magracia Suani V. Mallorca Shamel M. Malupa Edsel B. Manlulo Analin M. Marino Desiree R. Menes Dewani S. Moreno Honey F. Moreno Marife M. Mortel Kristin Joy M. Mula Judilin C. Ripizo Emily D. Rubia Rofa May S. Our guest speaker is a multi awarded lawmaker, businessman, philanthropist, and a passionate advocate for the environment, disaster resilience, and tourism. Representing a cubicle party list in the House of Representatives, Congressman Ko has authored numerous bills pertaining to education, climate change adaptation, skills training, infrastructure, and youth and sports development, among others. Of the many bills he filed or co-authored since joining Congress in 2019, he is particularly proud of House Bill No. 8425, an act providing for Typhoon Resilient, Core Shelter Assistance, and School Buildings in Typhoon Belt Areas in Eastern Seaboards of the Philippines. This was inspired by his many visits and relief assistance to victims in Typhoon-ravaged areas. Before his stint in Congress, Congressman Ko was a successful entrepreneur. He started his career as secretary and treasurer of the Feedback Corporation in Ligaspe Albay from 1995 to 2000. He later became chairman and president of Sun Westville Realty and Development Corporation from 1997 until 2012. His vision and dynamism propelled him to assume multiple roles as chairman and president of numerous companies. These include Sunwest Construction and Development Corporation, Mizibis Land Incorporated, Sunwest Water and Electric Company Incorporated, La Venezia Hotel and Spa, and Embarcadero de Legaspi Real Estate Development Corporation. As a corporate executive, he was cited for transforming calamities stricken by and putting it into the global tourism app. He excels in the fields of ecotourism, real estate, information technology, leisure, hotels, and renewable energy projects in Albay and other provinces. For his management acumen and advocacy for tourism and environmental causes, 
He was nominated as one of the 10 outstanding young men. In sustainable tourism, he committed to uphold the global code of ethics for tourism by the United Nations World Tourism Organization. A known figure in the fields of construction, real estate, leisure, and energy, he also served as president of the Mayon Builders Association and the Philippine Contractors Association. In 2014, Congressman Ko was cited by the International Finance Corporation and Banco de Oro Unibank for leading one of the best local companies engaged in renewable energy projects during the Energy Smart Philippines Awards organized by the European Chamber of Commerce of the Philippines. As tourism advocate, he also witnessed the covenant signing of the UN World Tourism Organization under Secretary General Dr. Talib Rifai. In 2018, he was a director of the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority. Born on December 8, 1970, in Tabaco City, Albay, Congressman Ko is the son of renowned Bicolano entrepreneurs Delphine and Elsie Ko. He is married to Mylin Ko and is blessed with four children. Our guest speaker finished primary school in Bicol University College of Education Integrated Laboratory School in Ligaspi City in 1982 and graduated high school in St. Gregory the Great Seminary, Panal Tabaco City in 1986. He obtained his college education in computer engineering at AMA Computer University and the Aquinas University, Rawis, Legaspi City, where he also completed his graduate studies in business administration in 1998. The honorable members of the Board of Regents, the University President, Dr. Miriam P. Katahay Mani, mga kasama sa paglilingkod, mga magulang, at mga magsisipagtapos. Ang ating tagapagsalita, Congressman Elizalde Ko of Ako Bicol Party List. Dr. Miriam Katahay Mani, President from Blonde State University, RSU officials and members of the Board of Regents, deans and faculty members, graduates, parents, ladies, and gentlemen. Thank you for inviting me to be your commencement speaker. It's always a pleasure to speak before talented young men and women. In you, I see not only continuity, but hope for the future. First, congratulations for making it here today. The road to a college degree is not easy. It requires hard work and dedication. The past year and a half of your college studies was even harder due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. Congratulations too to your parents and families for seeing you through this journey. Their sacrifice has paid off. Our gratitude as well to the university, its faculty and staff, for molding young minds to be our country's hope and future leaders. I applaud you for choosing RSU. You made a wise choice. RSU is one of the top universities in Mi Maropa and ranks better than many colleges and universities in the country. Despite limitations posed by COVID-19, I am happy that you choose to finish your studies under the so-called new normal. Not everyone is as fortunate as you. 
many of your contemporaries stop schooling for lack of resources and the difficulty of online learning. To graduate at the time of COVID-19 is not easy. Job opportunities are limited as the economy continues to take a beating because of lockdowns and the protracted health crisis. It becomes even harder when news like the entry of more contagious COVID-19 variants dominate the media. But there lies the challenge to find meaningful work amidst such negativism. Thus, your commencement theme, pursuing excellence in the new normal, is both timely and relevant. As fresh graduates, you have to navigate a world radically changed by COVID. You were barely in third year when you started online schooling. Your virtual classroom experience, ability to communicate, conduct research, and work with group mates is a valuable skill set many employers are looking for. With COVID still very much around, those who can cope well and learn quickly under a virtual environment is a plus factor in joining the country's workforce. I therefore encourage you to make good use of your RSU education. It doesn't have to be fancy. As active social media users, you are equipped to set up your own modest online business. There are also companies, particularly in the construction, energy, and telecom sector that continue to expand despite the pandemic. We, in Congress, are doing our fair share. We introduced legislation in allocated funds to provide aid to Filipinos and help revive our economy. Aside from Bayanihan 1 and 2, we're now discussing the possibility of enacting Bayanihan 3. Since our independence 123 years ago, our country has faced countless challenges, but we always manage to survive each time with valuable lessons to change for the better. For today's young graduates, my message is simple. There's no magic wand nor secret formula to success. You have to work for it. You have to pursue excellence in everything you do. And to do that, I recommend four guideposts. One, you must set clear goals. Visualize what you want to be in a year, a decade in your lifetime. Two, follow a roadmap like a pilot's flight plan. You should choose the best fastest and safest route or strategy to achieve your goals. Three, invest and allocate resources. You may not realize it, but your parents and RSU have already given them to you. Your talent, education, and diploma are your best capital. Use them well. Four, stay focused and committed. Never give up at the slightest difficulty. Failure is the best teacher. Remember, 
There are no mistakes, only lessons learned. If you believe and are willing to follow the four guideposts, then you've already taken the first step towards successful and meaningful life. It is my sincerest hope that someday our paths will cross again. I wish you the best of luck as you leave your alma mater. Always remember and stick to the values and important lessons learned from this great university and you will never lose your way. And when the path gets dark and difficult, just find the light of God and listen to your heart. A compassionate, enduring, beautiful, and caring heart of a true Filipino. Thank you and mabuhay! Message from Honorable Eleandro Jesus Fabic Madrona, Congressman, Lone District of Romblon. Congratulations! I am personally overjoyed to greet the graduating class 2021 of the Romblon State University during the 18th commencement exercises on August 31, 2021. Amidst the pandemic, the university management, personnel, and teaching staff are able to come up with innovation to pursue the academic requirements of our dear students to fulfill their cherished dreams. We are beyond grateful for all their sacrifices and dedication to make things possible. My dear graduates, you make us proud, especially your parents and guardians, for conquering the fears and challenges in this time of crisis that beset us. May you bear in mind the relevance of this year's theme, pursuing excellence in the new normal, in achieving your goals in life. Let not these challenges weigh you down, but instead, inspire you to better yourselves in whatever endeavor you will be into. Let your dreams guide you every step of the way. As you go up the ladder of success, we will be behind you to support you. When you will be confronted with failures, we will still be there to motivate you. Just look back and you will have our encouraging words to get you through. Again. Congratulations and may God be with you on your journey to success. Presentation of Academic Awards and Outstanding Performance in Specific Discipline Madia Edward C. Bachelor of Elementary Education, Service Award Mabunga Abigail B. Bachelor of Elementary Education, Service Award Malupa Edsel B. Bachelor of Elementary Education, Service Award. Let us hear an inspiring and wonderful speech from the Bachelor of Love, John Angelo M. Mayor, a student from the Bachelor of Secondary Education, majoring in English. To our RSU President, Dr. Marianne Katahay Mani. To our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmeline Villanueva. To our Campus Director, Dr. Will Virgil Rodriguez. To all our Department Chairpersons, OSA Chairperson, Distinguished Guests. To the Officers, Faculty Members and Staff, the Lecturers and Instructors in this institution, Parents, Friends, and my fellow graduates. A pleasant day for everyone. I would like to take this chance to express my gratitude for being the one in front to speak in behalf of my batch. So my fellow Bradley, congratulations! We have bested these unforgiving times and pushed through the ups and downs of life. We have finally reached the conclusion of our arduous yet fun journey within this institution. The more I think of it, my awe for students who have kept persevering and pushed their limits during these hard times never ceases to grow. We know that the current generation of learners are faced with a great and terrifying obstacle that struck fear to every heart in this planet, the COVID-19 pandemic. 
This massive pandemonium that engulfed the whole world gave people a traumatizing experience and instilled a feeling of despair to the poor souls who had contracted the disease. Moreover, it completely changed how the world works and education is one of the most severely affected institutions in the society. I remember when we are still having face-to-face -face classes. A few days prior to the announcement of the lockdown, I didn't imagine things would have come this far. I still recall how I interacted with my classmates like it's the most normal thing ever. How I gobbled a few quick work on our school cafeteria and how I sat down on my chair listening to our class instructor as they thought about things in life. I never imagined those for the last moments I was able to do those things. There are a lot of learners out there who face different challenges and it was no easy feat to overcome them. Amidst the pandemic, learning methods such as the distance learning through online or modular means were employed to lessen physical contact and it caused a lot of problems to the students. Some doesn't have the right tools and devices for online learning and other people are located at remote places, which is troublesome for people who opted for modular learning. Besides that, there are people who reportedly having a hard time understanding their lessons and they lose their interest in learning. I went through a similar experience. My motivation to learn was constantly dropping for some reason, and I had a hard time coping with the current situation. Sometimes, I would just open the module and stare towards it blankly as I said to myself, what am I even doing? Despite all of these events, we did not lose sight on that faint glimmer of hope and still did not give up on the idea of learning. Each and everyone gave all of their efforts to learn despite of the demotivating times. We found ways and created opportunities to succeed and we did not lose sight of our goals. Today, we are now here to celebrate the fruits of our labor and I give my salute to everyone who fought their hardest against these hard times. This is a testament of our unyielding resolve to keep succeeding in life. It might be a little sad that we are not together in this momentous day, but I am thankful enough that we are given this opportunity. Now, let us keep this chain of events as a reminder for us that as we live this institution, we have experienced how difficult things are within this kind of situation, so we should serve as an instrument of change to help lessen the effects of the pandemic through various means. We should contribute no matter how small it is, so we can make the environment comfortable for the next generation of learners in case a similar problem arises in the future. We should be kept reminded of our accountability towards our roles. As we now separate into our different paths, we should be also kept reminded of the learnings and values that this institution imparted to us. No matter what path we have decided to take, we should always remember on what kind of individual this institution has molded us into. This day is also a time for not only us graduates, but to all the people who are behind our success, who have been relentlessly giving their support to us. I would like to take this opportunity to give my greatest gratitude for these people. For my mom, Annalisa Mayor, dad, Juan Mayor, my siblings, and my loved ones. Thank you for your unending support. We sometimes face troubled times, but your love and concern for me hasn't waned even for a little bit. To my friends and classmates, thank you for making my journey fun and enjoyable. It wouldn't be the same without you people. 
We might have been a part of each and everyone's success. We might have gotten a little bit disconnected due to the pandemic, but our bonds will never be severe. I would also like to thank my lecturers and instructors for passing to us the knowledge and wisdom we need and prepping us to be ready to venture for the outside world. And of course, to the Lord Almighty, who has been guiding and keeping an eye on us as we tread in a journey called life, for showering us with blessings through His immeasurable love and shielding us from harm during these times. Again, congratulations! It is my greatest wish that each and every one of us achieve their goals in life and continue the rest of your voyage with happiness and satisfaction. Thank you very much. We have been inspired by your dialogue, Angelo. Truly, you are a model to everyone. To deliver her pledge of loyalty, let's have Ms. Chimbi Lawrence M. Montojo. Alumni President of Romlon State University, Romlon Campus, Batch 2021. On this momentous occasion of my graduation, I solemnly pledge to keep my unbounded love and profound gratitude to my parents whose untold sacrifices have pushed me onward to gain my university education. To be deeply grateful to my beloved instructor's patience and guidance which have encouraged me to delve into the well of knowledge. To be forever loyal and true to my alma mater, the Romblon State University, Romblon Campus, and to have a firm determination to strive for her honor and glory. To be conscious of my country's noble ideals and traditions, embedded with the principles of democracy and citizenship under the new dispensation. And to do my best to be of service to my community, my country, and my people. So help me God. Let's hear an inspirational message from Chairman of the Commission on Higher Education, Dr. J. Prospero E. De Vera III. Para sa class of 2021, isang mapagpalayang araw sa inyong lahat. Hayaan niyong simulan ko ang aking mensahe sa isang mainit na pagbati at pagpupugay sa mga magsisipagtapos ngayong araw na ito. Today, while the situation has somehow improved compared to March of 2020, things are obviously far from how they were before and would probably not go back to the old normal. I understand your frustration of missing a live graduation. Pero saludo ako sa inyo dahil napagtagumpayan ninyo ang mga hamon ng pandemya at naipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral sa kabila ng mga balakid at limitasyon. At ngayon ay mas handa na kayong harapin ang susunod na yugto ng inyong buhay. You and, you and your university were able to courageously respond to the needs of the times, move forward as one, and rise above the challenges. Now on the part of CHED, we acted quickly and conscientiously at the onset of the pandemic and devised ways to allow continued access to quality education through flexible modes of learning. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we ensured that learning continued by adopting a policy of flexible learning. Sa aking pagpadyak sa iba't ibang pamantasan sa buong Pilipinas, ako'y nabigyan ng pagkakataon na makausap, makasama, at makahalubilo ang mga mag-aaral, guro at empleyado ng iba't ibang pamantasan at kolehiyo sa bansa. I heard stories of struggles in the midst of the pandemic. We recognize the diligence, patience, and hard work of both the administrators 
the faculty, the staff, and most important, the students, for not allowing the pandemic to ruin your dreams and aspirations. Last February 2021, nakilala ko ang magkapatid na parehong tertiary education subsidy grantees sa Tibiao Antique. Sila ay si Maria at Remejo Escudero mula sa University of Antique. Ang kanilang ikinabubuhay ay magtinda ng balut at pagtama ng pandemya na walang sila ng kabuhayan. When they received their subsidy during the COVID-19 pandemic in May, pagkatapos nilang gastosin ang kanilang test sa mga pangangailangan nila sa pag-aaral, ginamit nila ang natitirang test upang makabangon ang kanilang negosyo at makakuha ng panggastos sa pang-araw-araw na pag-aaral. Last month, when I was in Cebu, I met Renami Nunez. Si Renami ay test beneficiary ng dalawang taon na. Ginamit niya ang kanyang unang test subsidy para kabitan ng kuryente ang kanilang bahay. Dahil naawa siya sa kanyang kapatid na nag-aaral sa dilim. Her second subsidy was used to buy her first cell phone in her life. And her third subsidy to buy a second-hand laptop for herself and her brother. She continues to study to better herself. She will be the first in her family to get a college education. A few weeks ago, during my bike ride, I met Catherine Ehe, who used her test subsidy para makapagpatayo ng sari-sari store at para ipagawa ang bubong ng kanilang bahay. Makatapos niyang bilhin ang pangangailangan niya for flexible learning. And soon, I hope to meet some of the test beneficiaries in your university. These stories of success from our scholars are the reason why this year we claim victory for free higher education. These stories are proof that the Duterte administration prioritizes free and quality education for our young people. It is also with pride and happiness that I share with you that even in the midst of the pandemic, more than 1.6 million Filipinos in more than 200 public universities now continue to receive quality higher education for free. Sa iba't ibang panig ng ating bansa, ay narinig ko na mga kwento ng tagumpay ng ating mga mag-aaral, lalong-lalo na ang mga nakakakuha ng test at tulong duno. From their success stories, we can already claim that free higher education under RA10931, the most important social legislation in the history of higher education, is a success. Overall, today, more than 2 million students are supported by the government amidst this global pandemic so that the students can continue receiving quality education and move closer towards the realization of their dreams. Their dreams to improve themselves and to improve the plight of their families. As we therefore celebrate your graduation today, we look back at the years of hard work and determination. 
the unwavering commitment in your continuous quest for knowledge. Let your graduation remind you of the gains that you have achieved collectively and individually, and the constant push to do better and to better yourselves as you enter the world of work. As you leave the portals of your university, I am optimistic that you will become active contributors to national growth and the competitiveness of our country. You have been equipped with the necessary competencies anchored on the university's core values. And so you must use this to make your distinctive mark in society by transforming lives. Never stop learning and continue to pursue activities that will serve as precursors of discovery to ensure continuous productivity and sustainability for our future generations. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. Mabuhay kayong lahat. At this juncture, let's have an alumni oath taking from the Director of Alumni Affairs, Dr. Alvin F. Gaak. By virtue of the power vested in me by Romlon State University Alumni Association, I hereby declare and welcome you as new members of the association. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me for the oath to the association. I state your name. Having been declared as a new member of the Romblon State University Alumni Association, do solemnly swear to uphold the constitution and bylaws of the association that I will constantly uphold the ideals of Romblon State University and I will strive to perform my duties and responsibilities to God, to my country, and to my fellow men to the best of my ability. Congratulations.
And leaves will soon grow from the burnness of trees And all will be all right in time From waves overgrown come the calmness of seas And all will be all right in time Oh, you never really love someone fight that no matter what happens we try to make it right leaves will soon grow from the barrenness of trees and all will be all right in time from waves over All of this comes with a love that is real I said all will be all right in time I said all will be all right in time I said all will be all right in time I said all will be all right in time Someone until you learn to forgive. You learn to forgive.
Wow, Mom Razel, we have come to the end of our program. Indeed, Sir Lance. But then again, there is a quote saying, Happy na, wala ending. That is right, ma'am. May this program be memorable to 2021 RSC Roman Campus graduates. We extol the BSID department for the triumphant organization of the graduation rites. As speakers of from Vaughan State University Roman Campus, I am Ms. Lina Rizal Eminoro. I am Mr. Norlan Ignacio Robis, and we are grateful for everyone who watched and joined us today. All praise to you, Best 2021, and remember that the best time for new beginnings is now.